Hello, I'm David Hall with Kraft Music, and I'm proud to introduce to you the Yamaha Clavinova CSP-170. It's the first Clavinova that integrates with a tablet. Today, we're going to cover the sounds and functions and features that are unlocked when you use this application. If you have any questions about this or any other model, please give us a call and one of our sales advisors are happy to help you. Additionally, they can put together a custom package of accessories to further enhance your playing experience. For decades, Yamaha has led the industry with music education. In fact, they invented a system called Follow Lights, which guided the player into learning music faster. Taking it one step further, the new CSP incorporates a system called Streamlights. If you've ever played a video game such as Guitar Hero, you see how the notes are coming at you and it allows you to anticipate your next step. Streamlights works in a similar manner, which helps you stay more on top of the beat and have a more enjoyable and musical experience. The CSP family, which stands for Clavinova Smart Piano, consists of two models, the CSP-170, which I'm showing you today, and the CSP-150. While both models have the same features, sounds, and functions, the CSP-170 features a slightly more powerful sound system and natural wooden keys. For the rest of this video, we're going to take a closer look at the app. However, there may be times where you don't want to pull out your tablet. Hey, no problem. Just simply turn the piano on, it defaults to the beautiful CFX grand piano sound. Additionally, using the function button, you can select other sounds to play and enjoy. Well, let's get started. First, I went out to the App Store and I downloaded the app entitled Yamaha Smart Pianist. Once that is successfully installed, then I have choices of how I would like to connect my tablet to the piano. You can use a wireless adapter or you can use a USB cable. In this example, I'm showing the USB cable connected to the piano. There's a port behind the music rest to the right. An added bonus of having the cable plugged in is that it will also charge my tablet during use. To launch the app, touch the icon. Next, you'll see a message connecting to the instrument. Once the app has connected to the instrument, the circle will go away. When the app launches, the default mode is Piano Room. Within this environment, you can select different piano sounds and adjust their tone quality. The first sound is CFX Grand Piano. Next, we have the Bosendorfer. Yamaha has included new samples for the CFX Grand and the Bosendorfer. Additionally, there are other sounds available within Piano Room. And you can swipe or select the name as you navigate through the menu. Next, we can go into the settings and adjust the lid position. The default is open. We can close the lid or leave it half open. This affects the sound. Next, we have brightness. This allows you to adjust the character of the sound from mellow to bright. A piano technician voices a acoustic piano by manipulating the hammers. This causes the sound to become either bright or dull. Next up is touch curve. This allows you to change the response of the sound based on your playing style. Select hard for a heavier touch or soft for a lighter touch. There are several other ways you can adjust the character of the instrument, including the master tuning, the resonance settings, or even the pedal points. When you're finished, press done. This takes us back to the main menu of Piano Room. Now that we've adjusted the sound quality of the piano, we can place the piano in different environments. The default is recital hall. 
From here we can go to a concert hall or a chamber or a cathedral and even a jazz club. By going back into our settings menu, now we can adjust the depth of reverb that is simulated with each of these environments. For example, here's the cathedral set in a low setting. Listen how it changes when I increase the depth. As you can see, Piano Room allows you to focus on world-class acoustic piano sounds. However, there's dozens of other sounds available under the voice menu. Simply press voice, touch the picture of the grand piano, and from here we see the different groupings, including piano, organ, guitar and bass, strings and vocal, brass and woodwinds, percussion and drums, and synthesizers. Within each group, you see a listing of the sounds contained in that group. Here we have grand piano and about a dozen or so different grand piano sounds. Next, we can look at the upright piano, see the different tones available there. There are several other options, including electric piano, harpsichords, and more. Let's try a few electric piano sounds. Simply scroll over to the electric piano graphic, and then from here I can try the suitcase electric piano. Here's that same suitcase electric piano with a tremolo effect. And this is the smooth tine. The app gives you the ability to star your favorite sounds and they'll appear in the favorites menu. Next we have the organ category. Within this group we find the tone wheel organs, the transistor organs, theater organs, harmonicas, and accordions. Let's try a few of the tone wheel organs. Yamaha is taking great care in replicating that true tone wheel organ sound throughout the decades. This is the whiter bars. Here's the jazz rotary. Next, we have the classic bars. And here we have the rock rotary. Next, let's take a look at the string and vocal sounds. Here we have the string solo instruments, string ensembles, and orchestral layers. Here are the concert strings. This is the lush strings. There's a ton of string sounds here. Let's try one more. Here's the tremolo strings. Now wouldn't that sound cool if it was combined with an acoustic piano? Simply navigate to the main menu, touch layer, and we can select our sounds. So here's the grand piano with the real strings. Now that I've selected my two sounds for the layer effect, 
One cool feature is the ability for you to adjust the volume levels of each of these sounds. So for example, in the left and main and layer, I can bring the string volume down a little bit. And let's hear how that sounds now. In addition to setting a layered sound, you can also set a split point and have a sound of your choice on the left side of the keyboard. To do that, turn on left, select the sound of your choice. In this example, I'd like to have a vintage flat wound bass. And that sounds like this. Now I can play my right hand with my piano and my bass. Once I activate a split mode, you'll notice that a indicator light appears. This is telling me that this is the note where the split happens. To adjust that split point, press the keyboard and hold it, and then touch the key where you'd like the new split to be. Most digital pianos give you the ability to layer or split the keyboard. The Yamaha CSP gives you the ability to do both at the same time. To do so, I simply turn back on the layer, and here I have the piano with the strings, and now the bass in my left hand. Well, up until this point, we've been looking at the different sounds that are available within this piano. Next, I'd like to show you the style capability. There are many different styles available, pop and rock, soul and R&B, dance styles, jazz styles. And the way this works is pretty cool. First, we select the style we want, in this case, modern big band. From here, I can have just the drum pattern playing. I could just play along with the drum beat, and that's fine. But when you watch a band play, there's many different instruments playing at one time to create an ensemble. Let's add in our bass guitar. So I'm just going to play a C chord in my left hand, and here we're going to listen to the bass guitar pattern. On the screen, we see the letter C indicating that I'm playing a C chord. From here, we can add in the rest of the band using the other. We even have the ability to use variations. My job will be to play the melody along with this. Another handy feature is the record capability of the app. No matter where you are within the app, either voices or styles, simply press record, a screen pops up, and you can record yourself playing at any given time. To me, the most exciting part of the CSP is its home entertainment value. Let's get into the song menu and check that out. So within the song menu, we can choose from a variety of different songs. There's different folders listing popular songs, classic songs, or lesson materials. 
Within the popular song folder, the app is preloaded with dozens of songs that are well known. For example, here's Fields of Gold by Sting. Once I activate the song, I can see it in a variety of different ways. First, the score view shows the actual sheet music of the piano part. Next, I can move over to the chord changes. This would be suitable for guitar players who strum along. Or for singers, we can turn on the lyrics. You may find lyric files available for many of the songs you'll import into the piano. This is especially helpful for using the microphone input capabilities of this instrument. Let's go back to the score. At this point, we're going to take advantage of the revolutionary Streamlights technology within the app and the piano. Before I press play, I'd like to point out that you're going to see lights appear above the keys, and these are showing me what notes I'll be playing. If I press the wrong note, it will wait for me until I press the correct note. Isn't that amazing? This functionality is not just available on the preloaded material. You can take all of the songs within your iTunes library, import them into the app, and use the features as I've shown you with your own music. Additionally, the app includes several other teaching pieces and classical compositions. Under the 50 Classics folder, you're going to find a variety of music arrangements from Easy Piano, to piano duet, to the original compositions by the great masters. Let's take a look at the easy piano versions. Here is Beethoven's Ode to Joy. And just like with the pop tunes, we can use the stream lights to help teach us this composition. I'm going to turn the guide lamp on, and this time I'm going to focus on playing the left hand of the arrangement. Isn't that great? Well, there you have it, the Yamaha Clavinova CSP-170, Yamaha's first smart piano. If you have any questions about this or any other model, please contact us and one of our sales advisors are happy to help you. For Craft Music, I'm David Hall. Thanks for watching.